is it a lie that this gov this government was born by the church for the church by the church? So why are we turning our back now? It is also very, 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 very not welcome when the same churches used to welcome all these donations and now just because everybody is somewhere has gotten a chance to criticize uh, the government, now you say you are returning the money. The people of Langata already did the biggest honor for giving me a chance to represent them in the 13th parliament. We are here inside uh, Alex Makideu, 20 years in radio, and we have uh, his good friend. We have Alex and we have been working with him for a long time, but we have been working with him for a long time. I have never, I have never ever disturbed him. Alex is not only my workmate, he is my brother. And as he celebrates his 20th year, uh, on radio, yes. 20th year on radio, yeah. uh, I had to be here. You see, I've never seen Alex Young. Ata picha zake za kitambo, bado yoka gatu mze. Sayako 53. Ni mubaba. Sasa leo ni kuwapa, kusapota liki. Tusikia your side of the story. Sabu wa mesema kidogo uli msumbua. Wewe alifusumbua? No, 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 no. It's never, we've had one of the best relationships. I learned a lot about mass radio from Alex. And I learned a lot of fun and hype radio from myself. So we learned how to work with each other. Complimented each other at work. And there's no single day. Tukiwa kwa radio, we never hanged out together. So, we were best of friends. Tunatoka radio, tunenda shere, tunakapa moja, all the time. Yes, yeah. Just make sure that you're working on something, a podcast together. Yes, we are working on a podcast. I don't know why he had to say, but I think he misses me on air. So you let's... said you're the one who's missing Bill. Yeah, you're it's... missing him. Like you're missing no, me, I'm done. I'm done with the, all these things. So, uh, podcast will be a very good thing. I think it's going to be the biggest podcast in Kenya. Uh -huh. Yes, so, Kenya's number one podcast. Uh -huh. Yes, so this Alex Najalas. Even even after maybe Jalango, uh, maybe in future, way way later, uh, okay, okay, retire from politics. You're not going back to media. I mean, you see, media is my number one thing. Yeah. Any day, I still run my agency, Arena Media, where we still do adverts. We still do everything with the product. Jalango TV is still running, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's, I'm still in the media space, uh -huh. basically. Uh -huh. You know, when you get into politics, politics is a season. Yeah. So don't leave the things that you know how to do. This is a chance that you've been given by the people to serve them. Yeah. One day they can say somebody else can do it, or they can even you can even decide enough, it's not worth it. Yeah. And uh, there's something that you're passionate about, something that you love. And that is what will always be there for you. That's why we have politicians who are uh, doctors, like Honorable Pukose. He still goes back and does his surgeries and all. We have the members of parliament who are lawyers. They still go and practice law. They don't close their business. So I can't close my business just because I'm a politician. Media is what I love. Media is what I do. Media is life, heart and soul. Yeah. And we are coming to the end of the year. What plans do you have for Jalani Langata people? Are you of course, yes, of course, yes. Langata people know very well. Vosi ni Vosi, the boss number one. Langata one is still in the building. Uh, Kama Kawaida, if you follow me, you've seen we've always shared Christmas with every single family in Langata. From the time I came in, we have great people who come together. We sponsor food, water, share, zote the Christmas ya Langata. So it's it's a you know, celebration and we I will celebrate with the people of Langata. Yes. Allow me to take you back to uh, to Ngelele Alex. Uh -huh. You guys have worked together and of course uh, every time you had forgotten, yeah. Uh, you guys have worked together. What would you say was your highlight working with Alex or your most my, memorable my show? My biggest biggest highlight with Alex and the best show that we've ever had. We had so many good shows. But there's one show I will never ever forget. Now, this lady was in deep in Bungoma. She's crippled. And uh, she called us in and asked that she needed, all she wanted in her life was a wheelchair. 
she told us anytime it rains, uh, she, has, she has no one to, put, to take her to the house. And if we could only get a wheelchair for her, she will, I get emotional when I talk about this story. She'll be really appreciative. So, I said and told my, our listeners, kindly if somebody has a wheelchair, kindly share one with us. The next day, we had more than 100 wheelchairs. That was the first thing. So we had to take only one for this lady. But how did we take it? So in the morning, we have, I, we were at Radio Maisha then. Uh, we have this, the standard group, uh, vehicles that take the newspapers all the way. So the wheelchair left with the, with the, with the, with the van that takes newspaper. So we were with, on call from six with the driver. Told us, umefika wapi? Ndoni mengia bungoma sasa. Then we had sent someone from her family to come and collect the wheelchair. Then we called that other guy. Uko wapi? Niko wapa injias ya depot ya gazeti ya standard group. Uko wapo? Gari imefika, eh? Wanatua gazeti, eh? Umeona wheelchair? Ndiyo hii ni meishika. So we are live with this guy and the driver. Then we went live again with the woman. Atio, wheelchair. So we were talking with this guy. Wheelchair kwa hapi, nimeifunga kwa, naifunga kwa boda boda sahi. Until the time it got to that woman, she was crying and screaming. That remains the best show because we gave back to the community. We did, we did a lot of giving back. And that I think is where all this charity thing started. But I think we gave back so, so, so much. We gave back so, so much during that time. And uh, by the time I was leaving, I think we've done so much to the community because we turned radio into a platform where people can connect, give back, and make sure that people love what is happening. That is even when we started Jalango TV. We did a lot of charity. We paid a lot of school fees. We built people's homes. We took people medical, like the guy we took to India. At so many times we gave back to the community. And any time when you're doing something and uh, it is not connecting with the community, just know you're still not there. Yes. And apart from starting a podcast with uh, Maki Deo, are you planning to go back to radio maybe anytime soon? For now, like I said, I never have a plan B on anything. My only plan right now is to work for the people of Langata, which we are doing quite well. Probably done much more than any other MP who's ever been uh, in Langata. CDF has done so much for us. We have so much that we've completed. And if you follow me, you'd see the work that we are doing. That is my plan right now. Come 2027, uh, I'll run for Langata. And uh, if I don't get a chance to get back, I'll still go back to, the, to do the things that I do. I have no regret for anything. The people of Langata already did the biggest honor for giving me a chance to represent them in the 13th parliament. And I know if they will vote on work that is done, they will have no other choice but to vote for the hardworking MP that they gave a chance. But Meshmi, we have seen a couple of people uh, saying they need you to extend this that you're doing to other uh, constituencies around Nairobi. The problem is, I can't do what I'm doing in Langata in other places. I can only do it because it's the budget for Langata. So as we've decided, we have no reason and no reason to think or um, you see me doing adverts, right? You see me post TV t things on my stories. I cannot stop what was bringing me my money and try to take money that is meant for the people to help me finance my life. I've, never, I've not changed. I still live, live in the same place I used to live. I still drive the same car that I used to drive. There's nothing that has changed. I'm still hanging with you guys. So, so, so to me, it's a chance that the people give me not to enrich myself, but to serve the people. So this means you don't have maybe any plan or do you have any plan maybe in future, maybe after 2027, to vie for the Nairobi gubernatorial seat? We have so much, so much lined. 
and uh, we hope that one day the people dream dreams are valid from governor president whatever but you must keep that dream alive first by working for the people and making sure that the people are happy yes way back to Meishi, could you talk about media but now you are in politics how has it been no adjusting there's no adjusting you just know what you are elected to do and you do it you guys follow me challenging at some point. very challenging when you have to do much more than what being a politician you know being an mp you are told your job is legislation oversight and representation you are not told that you will be the one who will be in charge of all funerals in the constituency you will not told you are the one who will be in charge of every single school fees in the constituency you are not told that you'll be in charge of every single fire that happened there's a lot that happened in the constituencies that most people don't do so you become the father you become the person people run to and when you work for the people and they say thank you that is where the satisfaction comes from uh -huh. maybe we get to hear your voice because we have seen also other members of parliament senators talk about this looks like uh, we have um, the church and the government with different voices maybe for you much more do you have to say my take about what the church is doing right now it's good for everybody to have an opinion but it is also very 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 not welcome when the same churches used to welcome all these donations and now just because everybody somewhere has gotten a chance to criticize uh, the government now you say you are returning the money is it a lie that this government this government was born by the church for the church by the church so why are we turning our back now the church should have come back and they are our leaders they should have called the leaders themselves and told them this is what we were doing this was the plan they should guide they should be the face that i don't know Anyway, uh, maybe as we wind up, what is that you are thinking about Alex? Uh, maybe you learned something. Alex is uh, today. If anybody opens our church with Alex, yeah. we are done. You are going to you jail. Are we, going we are to done. Jail. We are going to jail. Today, if Alex called ten people to his event, mm -hmm. I'll be there. If he called nine, I'll be there. If he called five, I'll be there. If he called one, I will be the one person who will be there. Yes. Uh, okay, <laughs> a question. A question huh? uh, there is a lot, for, a lot of complaints from Kenyans, you know. Uh, maybe the president is not hearing them. Maybe the, the, there is something, there are some things where the president is proposing or rather putting in place, but the Kenyans are not going in with the, with the nini of the president. Maybe do you think the president should listen to the people of Ke Kenyan, Kenyans? Ama, how do you think? Number one, which event are you in? Event. Thank you so much. When we are in the president's event, you'll call me and we'll talk about it. Don't spoil a good event with bringing politics. Sometimes let's just have fun. Is it true? Sometimes what are the share? Immediately one day, ukiwa na shukuli asiasa tapi hii na kule kwa asiasa wewe ni pige luku hivi wewe unianze kuniuliza mambo ya CDF na nini? Wewe unajua hii ni nguo gani wewe? Well, now you are DJ Mavazi. Have you seen the battles? What's, in, what's written in the battles? Jalango. <laughs> hey. This is one of one. Hey. This is one of one. Have you seen what's written on the battles? Ne pige lukukali kama hii alafu sasa you know you people should also learn sometimes. You know you are you've seen red carpet events. When people go even for met events, met gala there are only two questions. Hey, how are you? Who are you wearing? Then Jay-Z would walk and go. So the first thing you should do is, Jalas, how are you? You're looking good. Uh -huh. Oh, Jalas, you are not looking good. Uh -huh. But who are you wearing? I'll tell you, GJ Mavazi. Thank you so much. Enjoy the night. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>